So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to install CodeBlux latest version. So open any browser and search for CodeBlux downloads. So click the second option which says binary release CodeBlux by CodeBlux.org. Then click on that link and you will be redirect to this kind of page. So in here you can see all operating systems which this code blocks is available. Now for windows operating system click this one here. So when you click here you can see all the windows operating system setup files here. In my case it's 64 bit operating system. So I recommend you to download fourth one here. So if you have a 32 bit operating system you can choose 32 bit operating system. There are two options for download the setup file. So you can also choose forcehub or sourceforge.net. So I'm going to choose sourceforge.net and you will be redirect to the downloading page and download will automatically start. So I already download the setup file. So I'm going to cancel it. So once your download finished, click on it and it will ask permission to run the setup file. Then click yes. Then you will see this installation window. In here click next. Then you can see license agreement of installation. And click I agree here. And click next here. So this is the location where your code blocks files will be saved. You can also change it, but I recommend you to leave it as default and click install. It will take some time to install. So if you think this video is useful for you, please do subscribe and hit the like button. Once the installation process finished, it will ask permission to run the code blocks. Click yes and it will open the code blocks then minimize it. So let's check our code blocks is installed successfully or not. For that, go to CMD and type GCC space hyphen hyphen version and click enter. And if this command gives you this kind of response, it means you have to set the pass to environment variable. For that, go to your file location and open MINGW folder and open bin folder here. Then copy the path from location bar. Then go to search bar and search for environment variable and you will get this kind of 
window then click environment variable here now you can see this kind of screen in here system variable just scroll down little bit and you can see path option and double click on it so in this tab click new now just paste your copied location and click ok then again go to cmd and type gcc space hyphen hyphen version and click enter and if this commands give you this kind of response it means you have successfully set the path now just open code blocks and let's write a simple hello world program So I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any questions regarding this video, please do comment. Thank you for watching.